Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to my completed pages video for the month of November. This month I managed to finish 35 pages, which is not quite as much as last month, but hey, I didn't have any time off of work, so I think it's quite good. So let me change into the overhead view so I can show you all my pages. So the first page I'm going to show you is in Cosmic Ocean and I did... As you can see, the very first one, I've chosen a purple and pinkish color combination, some green, some blue and yellow with white dots as little accents, because, yeah, that's usually what I do. I used colored pencils and, yeah, I, I think the result is quite nice. So that's my first page. Next is the Minimalist Art by Jade Summer. And I did the next page in line, which is this one. The flower with the three colored feathers. I wanted to do a background that didn't distract too much from the main image because I did it quite colorful. So I've chosen a mixture of pale pinks, peach, brownish tones. I don't know. I don't like it as much as some other of the pages that I've done in here. But hey, at least it's some progress, right? So yeah, all colored pencils and really looking forward to this next image here, which is really beautiful. But yeah, that was my second page in minimalist art. Then I also worked again in Dark Beauty by Crook Crook. This is the third page that I finished. And again, it is one that I don't like quite as much. Um, I used quite bright tones for the other two images. So I really wanted to do a dark one. So I've chosen to give her dark hair with some blue accents and a... Oops, that was the camera. And a, a brownish background, but unfortunately the contrast is not very good and uh, it kind of melts into each other. I probably should have chosen a different color for either the background or her hair, but yeah. It is what it is and you learn as you go, so at least it's another page done in Dark Beauty. Next up is Flowers by Gabby Wolf and I just work in this uh, book in order. So the image that I've done this month is this one. I think it turned out pretty cute. I really like the simple artwork with the nice thick lines. It's really fun to color and as most of the time I used only colored pencils. So yeah, like how this one turned out. Then we have 50 Ghostly Cute Miniatures by Camellia Angel Kova. This is one of her more recent book. I think books. I think it's her second recent one. And this is more like Halloween themed, so I probably should have done them last month theme-wise, but I just felt like trying this book out. So I did the little ghost going trick or treating. And uh, the next page I've done in here is these three pumpkins. I tried to color them in a bit of an interesting way, like the longish ones with green and yellow and uh, the ordinary orange one here in the background. Pretty simple, pretty quick pages. Yeah, a very cute book, 50 Ghostly Cute Miniatures. And I also worked again in Side Lights, Fan Lights and Transoms. This is like a stained glass pattern book by Ed Sibbett Jr. And I did um, these three elements here in similar colors. And yeah, all colored pencils because this book is double-sided. So um, you have bleed through if you use alcohol markers. And yeah, I think it turned out quite nice. Um, this is just a nice, rather mindless, simple way to color a page while you're listening to your favorite podcast or watch a show. So yeah, this one. Then we have Spooky Cutie by Coco Wayo. And I did two in this one. So I did the little flask with the skull inside and some ghosts around in um, nice pastel tones and some uh, gold acrylic paint pan and also some blue one. Yeah, pretty simple. And then I also did the skeleton carving the pumpkin here. I gave it pretty happy and bright colors because why not? I started the book out with pretty dark colors. Well, quite I, I got, yeah, this one I did pretty darkly and then I got very bright and rainbow here. But yeah, um, I like the progress I'm doing in this book. So two pages done in here. Then also by Coco Wire, we have Simple Art and I did three pages in here. I did these three spring elements. I did the little beach scene here with color pencils and white dots for accents. And this little night scene with flowers. Yeah. It says simple art and you get exactly what it says. <laughs> but it's really fun to complete these pages. So yeah, that was that. 
Next up, we have 100 Bold and Easy by Jade Summer. And I did three pages in here. I did the cute little kitty. Did I use alcohol markers? Oh, yes, I actually used some alcohol markers for a change. I did the mermaid in aerial colors. Well, almost. I didn't give her a purple bra. I gave her a blue one. And the jar of jam. I know these were probably supposed to be blueberries, but I really wanted to do um, the jar red. So let's just pretend these are red currants instead of blueberries. And yeah, pretty simple here. I really did work a lot in these Bold and Easy books last month. So um, we have Bold and Easy. I should better say this month because it's still November. And I did the mushroom forest scene. Love mushrooms. Very nice. Pretty simple. And a page done. Yeah, not much to say about this. Bold and Easy. And another one of these books that came out way before the whole Bold and Easy um, trend started. And I simply did the butterfly here. I didn't uh, actually count that as a page. It's just this element here. But yeah, nice. I have touched another untouched book, so go me. <laughs> Bold and Easy. Another untouched book was Dry It by Creative Canvas is the publisher's name. And I did the very first page in here, which is this beautiful portrait I decided to give her blonde hair, which in my opinion contrasts nicely with the green leaves and the, I thought it was bark that is like the elements on her face and neck here. Because a dryad, yeah, why not? They have leaves on their body and they can also have bark on their body. So yeah, like how it turned out, she's pretty cute. Another untouched book worked in. Then in Handsome Boys by Hayley Powell, I did two images. I did the boy here among the Jerry Blossoms. Pretty cute, all done in colored pencils. Really like to do the black border to make the image pop. And then the second image is this guy who pulled a J-Lo and went to the bodega to get an orange drink. So yeah. Um, these small um, pages are pretty fun and pretty quick to do. So two more done in here. And next up is Spring Beauties. And I did two pages in here. I did this beautiful lady with yellowish pink hair and some purple flowers. As you can see, I really like the combination of purple and pink. Since I've been a child, I really like this color combination as some others do. So yeah, that is that. And I also did her. I really liked how um, the red and the green are contrasting here. Yeah, she turned out pretty nice. I really enjoy the artwork in this book. Even though it is pretty similar, you can always make the image very unique with the colors that you choose. So yeah, pretty, pretty pleased with those two images in here in Spring Beauties. Then in this pretty random anime and manga coloring book... I did this one, the cute girl with the dog in her arms. The background turned out pretty dark, but I think it contrasts quite nicely with the rest of the image. I don't know. But yeah, it was a bit experimental. You know, it, it seems like it's snowing because I added these white dots, um, but she's wearing a spring dress. So yeah, but I have so many coloring books. Um, it doesn't really matter if a page turns out a little strange, right? I mean, I still like her hair. So yeah, a page done. Next, I worked in Vampire Boys by Erin Zen, and I did this guy here who looks very sophisticated. And yeah, the background, I don't know what I did. Um, I think I was trying to use the super golden markers, and then uh, I had trouble getting the paint out. So I used um, other paint pens, and it just turned out uh, to be, yeah, you know, now you have these glittery metallic dots in the background. Why not? <laughs> but yeah. In the end, you know, I, I quite like it. It's a page done in Vampire Boys. And then we have this book where the title takes half of the cover. Creepy, cute, obsessive, yandere coloring books for adults. <laughs> Volume 1. And I did this girl. And I really like to do, because the hairstyles in here are, are pretty interesting, I like to do um, multicolored hair in here. So I gave her blonde bangs and uh, blue hair. Added some pink for contrast, also green eyes, and yeah, I think she turned out pretty 
Well, can you can you say cute or is she more creepy? I don't know. Tell me in the comments whether you think she's cute or creepy. I think she is more cute. Not really intimidating, is she? I mean, she has quite shock. She has shock teeth, right? So yeah. But I like how it turned out. Then we have Chibi Kawaii Cat Boys, again by Erin Zen. And I did this cute little furry kind of dude with his cape and his hood and a magical staff. And yeah, pretty cute. Not much to say. Didn't really add a background. Just colored the little sparkly things with a gold acrylic pen. I think it was the super golden marker. I'm not sure anymore. But yeah, that's it. Then we're getting to my monthly Disney Hachette Heroes coloring books. So the first page is in Saison. And I did... I think it's Aurore from Sleeping Beauty. I tend to confuse Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, but I think this is Sleeping Beauty. And she's picking strawberries, and I've done it in colored pencils. Pretty nice, pretty simple. Another page done in here, so yeah. Um, if In case you don't know, I'm doing every year a um, all my completed pages video in the Hachette book specifically, so I'm always happy when I can add more entries into that series. So yeah. One more done in saison. Then we have Princesses. This is one of my favorite coloring books. And I've done Ariel. Let me switch the perspective here a little. Yep. I used colored pencils and then used the black acrylic paint pen for the lines, which I, I like to do that. That combination really makes the lines pop. And it's also just a very nice picture. I love the way her hair looks. So yeah, really nice in Princesses here. Then I also again worked in for me. I tend to circle between the same five to eight books in the Hachette Hero series um, in the last couple of months just to get a couple of more pages done in the same book. Working towards finally finishing one. So here I did the Aristocat Cats and I had a bit of trouble with the very fine lines and the not so fine acrylic paint pen, but I still think it turned out okay. And here had I, I had a little mishap with uh, coloring the frame. So whenever I bump the camera again, I'm sorry. So whenever I get to that picture, I have to use acrylic paint pen to just cover the blackness here, which yeah, maybe I'm going to do that next month. Although it looks pretty detailed. I don't know if I'm in the mood to do that next month. We'll see. But yeah, that was that page in Famille. Then we have Girl Power, another book I work rather consistently in. And I did another Ariel. And I did her. I think that is during Part of Your World. She looks really cute. Again, I like the way her hair looks. can really see the dynamic of the wind. Yeah, she's cute. Another page done in here, Girl Power. And then we have Nature, in which I also work pretty consistently in. And for this month, I did a Bambi. This Bambi scene, very nice. Love the butterflies, pretty cute. Yeah, colored pencils and acrylic paint pen for the lines. Nature. Then I worked in this smaller Hachette Heroes books, 50 Coloriage, Animo Mystere. And I did... The ram, and I think you can really see I did this one with acrylic paint um, instead of acrylic paint pen. I usually do use acrylic paint, but in these smaller books, I did try the Ardex acrylic paint pens because they are really nice and have great paint flow. And I think you can, uh, maybe not so much on camera, but I personally can really see the difference because the acrylic paint pens, even though those of Ardex have really great paint flow, they still look a little streaky. And this image that is done with paint and the brush just looks so smooth and consistent. Yeah. It's really nice, even though it's just a portrait of a ram, but still. Um, yeah, another page done in here. And then in Calm Color by Numbers, this is by... Um, I think the publisher changed their name at one point from Sirius to Octurus for some reason. But yeah, I did this sunset with the palm trees. I really like how it turned out. I love the colors and the contrast. I really like these silhouette images. Very nice. One more done in here. And then last but not least, just for some simple relaxation, I did two pages in the birds color by number by Sun Life Drawing. And I did this one. I don't know if at some point I'm going to color the frames of these images black. I'm not sure it's worth it because it's just a simple color by number. But yeah, I do like the images. They are quite cute. And I did this one. I really like the purple and the violet. So yeah. 
Those were my 35 pages for the month of November. I can't wait to watch all of your completed pages. It is pretty much everyone's favorite video, all right? So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and maybe see you in the next one. Bye!